Hello and welcome. Uh, today I wish to show you a Bluetooth module for Apple Newton. Uh, like you know, probably to connect our Newtons, we uh, need kind of always we need kind of cables to connect with the with the computers. Usually uh, we use a uh, kind of serial cables uh, if we want to connect um, our our Newtons with the older uh, Macintosh or PCs. We need to use uh, serial uh, serial cables, like uh, for example this one. So on the others, on the other, um, on the one end we have uh, like um, in this case uh, a nine pin uh, PC connector, and on the other side we have a, um, a Macintosh serial connector, which we can connect with the with the Newtons. Uh, if you're using, uh, like for example, me, uh, Newton 2000 or 2100, we need additional device called dongle because that Newton have only that kind of connector to communicate with the with the computer. So we need to use uh, that kind of dongle with uh, with this cable, and then we can connect with our computer. Other people use uh, that dongle with the serial uh, Mac Mac serial um, cables. Uh, so the cable have the same the same connector uh, Macintosh uh, serial port connector on both ends and then, then one end must be plugged here uh, then to the to the Newton uh, 2000 or uh, 2100 and the other to the um, to the um, older Macintosh if you uh, usually if you want to connect your Newton um, with a modern Mac so uh, working with the Mac OS 10 uh, you need to use different cable and uh, that cable must be for example something like this so one end it's a USB with a, a special uh, controller inside usually it's a FTDI uh, chipset working uh, like a plug and play with the modern Mac OS so you don't need to have um, any additional drivers for that cable and uh, on the other end you can have like a traditional serial cable so by using that USB to serial uh, cable then you can for example uh, connect uh, that two cables together so um, you're connecting uh, like that so on both ends you end up with the USB connected to your modern computer like a modern Mac or something like this and the other end you have a you have a serial connector to your Newton or if you have Newton 2000 series you need to use once again the uh, uh, dongle to connect and then uh, technically by using the software called uh, Newton connection uh, designed for modern um, modern Mac OS 10s you can connect you can connect with uh, your Newton with um, uh, with the computer so um, the software looks like that and uh, it's called Newton connection is available is available on the website so if you um, search the web in Google or wherever you are using to searching the web and you type Newton connection uh, there is a uh, yeah there is a chance that you find that uh, um, that um, software and you can use it to connect uh, your uh, your Newton with your modern Mac but today uh, I want to show you that kind of device so and this device it's a Bluetooth module you can use instead of cable to connect with your computer uh, it's not necessary it's, it's not exactly that you don't need any cables to connect because uh, Newton Newtons uh, don't, don't have the ability to work without the cables so technically you need to at least one of that cables but usually most of the users have it so for example you can use that with with my uh, let's say Newton 2000 I can use that kind of uh, serial cable and that end going to my Newton and the other end I can connect directly to that module so what's the what kind of plus is 
because you know because uh, technically you need to use kind of cable yeah to connect with the uh, with the computer so uh, the, the, someone could say uh, doesn't matter if I have this or, or just connect the cable yeah the, the, the first thing is like uh, you need to connect with the modern computer you need additional cable with a USB connector because most of the modern computer don't have a serial ports yeah like a laptops or something like that they don't have it and uh, that can be dodgy because sometimes you need extra uh, drivers uh, for that cable to work with your software if um, that cable is not manufactured with original FTDI cable you and you have kind of uh, you know um, different kind of chipset inside of that USB to serial cable you need to install in your system additional drivers like a virtual serial drivers or something like this and sometimes it's working sometimes it's not working there's always a lot of topics um, on um, Apple new, on the Newton talk uh, and people asking how to do it it's 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 very sometimes it's very painful for for people who uh, just start the adventure with the with the newton side they they are not sure how to how to work um, and how to connect so uh, that solution is really really simple and really nice because you need only just one cable to serial on on the newton side so usually um, if you buy newton usually you should get a box with the additional you know kind of gadgets and and and, and inside of the box should be a, like a power adapter or or that kind of serial cable so if you have that kind of cable you can use you can use that module uh, like you see that module have a uh, uh, two connectors one connector is a serial connector so you can connect to to your newton cable site uh, but like you see here um, there's a micro usb cable it's not data data cable uh, i'm using that uh, that uh, connector only to give the power for the module uh, in that enclosure so i'm using just uh, standard standard micro usb cable uh, to just give the power so there's no uh, you can use your uh, computer to power it up you can use uh, external uh, kind of uh, a battery pack or, or something like this um, just just anything can can work in a with the five volts so uh, I'm gonna connect the cable here so to check if the Bluetooth is working you probably can see there is a tiny uh, tiny LED inside and in blinking red so that means the, the 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 Bluetooth module is ready ready to go yeah so uh, technically by using something like this uh, you can connect your Newton with the with the modern with the modern uh, computer so uh, in my case I'm gonna use um, I'm gonna try to connect with my um, with my uh, Mac uh, so I'm gonna use the software I mentioned before uh, Newton connection on my Mac I'm using uh, Mac OS 10 Mojave but uh, that software should work on the uh, all, all versions uh, even um, older versions of Mac OS 10 or even on Catalina and Big Sur I never tested on Catalina and Big Sur so um, I cannot say 100% but uh, yeah uh, that should work maybe in future I'm gonna do the do the test yeah so uh, before we actually connect um, uh, our Newton uh, with a with a with a modern computer we need to also um, uh, connect the module to our computer and that is pretty pretty easy because we need to go to the system preferences and click Bluetooth uh, and sometimes we need to wait a moment to uh, that module show up but uh, sometimes that module do not show up because Bluetooth connection on Macs usually it's a little dodgy so the solution for this is to turn on turn off uh, for a moment Bluetooth on the computer and turn it uh, on once again and usually that module uh, should show up in a second yeah like you see on the screen Newton BT module is uh, should be ready to go so the only thing you need to do just select that and click connect and just wait a second uh, yeah Bluetooth just report that it's connected and voila 
that's it. You don't need to install on your Mac site any additional software because most of the modern Mac they have a Bluetooth module, so um, that that should be that should be fine. Yeah. So that part is done. Uh, the second part we need to tell to Newton connection that we want to connect with our Bluetooth module. So uh, to do this, we need to go to the preferences window and serial tab. And here we need to select, like you see my Bluetooth module, because it's uh, only one way I'm using now with my uh, Mac to connect with the Newton. I'm using that module. It's just selected here. Uh, the serial speed must be uh, default because the um, software have ability to work with a faster bandwidth but uh, for our purposes uh, we're using that default speed um, slower speed is a little better because uh, i did a test with a with a higher speed and sometimes the connection can be dropped i'm not sure what's the reason if it's a kind of communication with the bluetooth module or the um a Newton connection software have a kind of you know glitches and cannot work properly uh, with um, with um, higher settings. So um, I will probably uh, in future uh, try to uh, try to do more tests and maybe maybe that will be solution to, um, to solve that problem. But uh, from the other side, it's not a big problem because even the slow connection is perfectly fine for Newton because usually what to, what you need to do. Um, is uh, just transfer not not uh, big amount of data. The biggest application I'm using on my Newton is um, something like 380 kilobytes. Yeah, so it's not really big. So um, the transfer that application from my computer to Newton is uh, it's it's very fast. So there's a no uh, there is no big problem. So I'm gonna try to initialize. The connection so what you need to do on newton you need to just bring the dock standard dock on your newton you need to select the serial connection and you need to click connect and uh, this is not cannot be easy <laughs> uh, sometimes that like you see on the screen uh, newton trying to get connection and unfortunately didn't uh, it's not the fault of the Newton. It's not the fault of the Bluetooth module. It's a problem with the Newton connection application. Sometimes you need to just uh, close the window, close the application. I just closed uh, the application and I'm going to run the application once again. This is very, um, very important. So you need to get a fresh new window without any data on that window. And this is the point when you should get connection. So let's go back to Newton and try once again. And voila, we are connected. So um, at this moment, we are connected on Newton. Like you see here, there is a dock uh, open so we can do a lot of things. And I'm going to show you the Newton connection. Newton uh, connection just report my Newton device with the basic data and I have a few things uh, I can explore here like uh, I can backup my Newton, I can restore from the previous backup and I also can install the application. So I'm gonna, I just prepared like you see here, kind of sm small package with kind of graphics I prepared before for my Newton. So I'm gonna drag it on the window and Newton like you see uh, here and here the Newton just um, taking the data. Like I said, it's not very fast connection, but in the same time, it's not very slow. So I just managed to transfer that data to Newton and I'm going to stop the connection and I'm going to show you the results. It's a, the results is a nice graphics I prepare for my Newton. Voila, my logo and my Apple Newton fan um, uh, kind of graphics for my Newton. Yeah. And at this moment, I could set that's all because this is how that module working. Uh, that module, that Bluetooth module basically emulate the physical uh, serial uh, communication between Newton and, and my computer. And that's it. You don't need to install any software on the Newton side and on the computer side. So this is really great solution for um, new users who uh, just bought, let's say, a completely uh, empty Newton without any software 
uh, without any additional applications, like a completely blank Newton, and they struggle how to connect with the computer, with the modern computer, and uh, how to uh, transfer the data from the computer. Because there is a few other options, like, uh, for example, I'm going to show you, I'm going to bring the dog. So there is, uh, for example, you can uh, uh, connect with the computer via TCP IP protocol. But for this, for example, you need to have a LAN card or Wi-Fi card installed on the Newton. But both cards need additional software to, um, to work. And without initial direct connection with the computer, you cannot install any software on Newton. Uh, but with this module, you can do it because the only thing you need to have to connect that module to your Newton, like I said before, it's a serial cable um, and, and, and that's it. And that's it. You can transfer your data from and to your computer from your Newton or on to your Newton. So uh, this is it. Uh, I think it's a very tiny and very nice solution for uh, for transferring and for connecting. Uh, at this point, uh, I just check that module and uh, the whole procedure with uh, modern Mac. Uh, I never tested with um, uh, Windows uh, operational system. So, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do this because technically there is no any you know problems with with connecting that module with the with, with the Windows uh, because. Um, this is standard Bluetooth module without kind of special modification or something like this. Um, so uh, that shouldn't be uh, any problem to connect with Windows. But I need to test um, kind of software able to pick up the virtual serial connect, uh, connection via the, via the Bluetooth on PC. If that is possible, yeah, that module can be used with a uh, with the Windows too, so uh, can be great solution for Windows users who uh, own the Newtons and they want to connect uh, your the the Newtons with the um, with the with the PC. Uh, that device is really nice uh, because, like I said, do not contain any special software or something like this uh, dedicated for Newton or something. It's uh, just a like a device imitating the uh, serial connection. So technically that module could be used with the other devices like uh, different palm tops uh, or uh, all their um, computers with a serial connection. Uh, so technically uh, with the proper software on the computer side, you can connect even, I don't know, maybe old, uh, old Mac or kind of, I don't know, serial terminal device or something like this by using that uh, that module. So I think I think it's a really nice uh, upgrade uh, for like uh, people who who wants to uh, play a little more with the with the older stuff. But initially uh, that 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 Bluetooth module is designed to use with uh, Newton. So I think it's a quite uh, quite nice device to, to make uh, our I mean the Newton users life easier, especially if we have brand new, um, completely wiped out, ready to go uh, Newton. Uh, this device can work with all models of Newtons. Uh, even original uh, message pad, OMP, can be connected. The only thing um, to connect this, you need to have a kind of cable um, um, PC serial connector here to connect with the, with the module and other on, on the other side, you need to that um, um, that uh, Macintosh serial connector because the um, other uh, than uh, Newton 200 and 200 100, uh, one no 2000 and 2100, uh, they have a, that that special special different um, uh, dongle to connect. Uh, but the other Newtons like a uh, uh, original one. 100, 110, 120, 130. Um, they have a they have a, a standard uh, Macintosh serial cable. Uh, the same with the Emate, but with the Emate it's easier because Emate have both 
uh, have that connector and the serial uh, Macintosh serial so there's there's no difference between them so uh, yeah but you can use that module you can use that module with the uh, uh, image 302 so I think it's a really really great device yeah um, I'm gonna try to put uh, more details soon about that that device on my uh, on my um, uh, Facebook page so if you are interested in um, to have that kind of uh, uh, device please contact me uh, with the, uh, via the uh, Facebook or send me email you can also find me on the um, on the uh, Newton talk Newton talk um, uh, mailing list so please uh, feel free to to contact uh, with me and uh, I'm pretty sure we can we can figure out something uh, at this moment i have only uh, that um, device it's a it's a final version of the device but uh, um, i have a plan to build uh, four more for people who uh, wants to have that kind of device uh, and maybe in the future um, me and my friend arthur uh, maybe will try to design the smaller version of this device uh, my goal is to put um, uh, to create a very tiny version of that device and put that device inside of the Newton. That would be really great. Uh, I'm not sure if that will be um, possible, but uh, we'll try uh, to figure out uh, how compact and how tiny that device we can make in future. Uh, but that would be really nice to have that kind of uh, Bluetooth module built in inside of the uh, Newton. Um, I'm talking about the Newton 2000, for example, because um, I'm, I'm using very often that model, and usually this is the only one model I'm using. Um, and that model have a kind of in that corner inside of the of the case have a kind of uh, empty space, and that can, that empty space could be used to uh, to put that module uh, model uh, inside, and that would be really nice because in this case. Um, if uh, if uh, we'll manage to um, design that that tiny module and we'll put inside of newton we don't need really any cables to connect with the computer we need just modern computer with the uh, bluetooth abilities and and that's all yeah and that's all yeah all right okay so thank you very much for watching that video i hope uh, you enjoy it like i said if you have more um more questions or you want to have that kind of device please contact me uh, and i'm pretty sure we can figure out something thank you very much take care stay green bye bye